if we do not invest in this segment of the population, then we are actually not serving the present and not serving the future. The Strategic Communications Lab is organized by the Young Mediterranean Voices Program of the Annalyn Foundation. And it is a workshop, a virtual workshop that brings together young people from the north and south of the Mediterranean to talk about online media um, and more specifically about extremist narratives. In uh, times of um, extremism and um, rising uh, populism, it's important to give uh, counter narratives to show that there's a lot of solidarity between people. It does really help concretely to build the capacity for the youth to learn how to debate and so to enrich their skills. This energy that we have as young people uh, working together is gonna make a great impact. The whole point is to acquire the tools to communicate better, especially digitally. So this is by default, it, it, it empowers young people because when you have the tools, when you acquire them, and you see how they are used, you can use them in order to, uh, in order for your voice to be heard more and uh, in a more effective way. I learned a lot. I also, not only professionally, but also personally, how to be a much better person. And I got to know very, very nice people. Media especially is a field that runs really fast. And at times we just need to uh, step back and evaluate what we have. Uh, to understand how it works, so that then we can use it for the benefit of positive social change. We have a voice and we can use it because most of the times people don't really ask for our opinion. And these workshops do exactly the opposite. They, they welcome us, they ask for our opinion and I think that's really, you know, empowering. We already have our voice. Our voice can be heard, but it doesn't have an effect. It's usually lost in fake news. It's lost in echo chambers. It's lost in so many, so many social media that are like swarmed by voices. Here, it's a simple way through all the aid and the help that we get through the event to actually have an effect in society. And it's, it's, it's a really nice opportunity for every young person. I'm definitely optimistic about the future, especially now that there are many initiatives encouraging us, the youth, to not only have uh, voices in our communities, but also to translate these messages uh, into the international dialogue. So um, it will definitely take a while for uh, the young people around the world to be included and embedded in decision making, especially on the international level. But these are the steps that we are more than happy to, to have at the moment.